After my recent video where I announced that I went all in on Bitcoin and I bought in at 48,300, a lot of people reached out to me asking me why I didn't sell at the 60,000 mark that hit last week again. Obviously, that's an amazing short term capital gain if you actually sold. But for me, I want to be in Bitcoin long term. That creates a new question. Where do you want to store your Bitcoin safely for the long run? You could either use cold storage or you use a company that actually pays you money, but they also use your Bitcoin. For me personally, I don't want to have money sitting around doing nothing. I want to make money my bit butterfly. I didn't say that. I said butterfly, butterfly. Okay, butterfly. So I want to put that money to work. Now, even though I believe that Bitcoin is going to increase in value over time, I also want to make it work while I'm holding it. That's why I chose Nexo as my platform where I want to, you know, store my Bitcoin and actually get paid 8%. And yes, I remember in the last video, I said 4% instead of 3% if you compare it to other companies. But that was if you want to get paid out in Bitcoin. Now I found something that was more interesting to me. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I know like I, I keep talking about the same company. They actually should sponsor me for saying their name a billion times in all of my videos. But I but I actually love the idea of like placing my money there. I feel safe and I feel good about it. So here's what I did. I went to my account and I found out that if I freeze my money, my Bitcoin for a month, I get an additional 1% interest, which is huge. By doing that, I ensured that with the price right now of $58,000 per Bitcoin, I would make $1,400 a month just in interest alone. That in itself is a lot of money just for holding Bitcoin. And here's my next thought. After receiving the 1400 a month, I think what I will be doing is I'm going to switch or swap the Nexo token into Bitcoin token. You can do that immediately on the website as well. So if I sold or swapped all the Nexo tokens that I received in interest into Bitcoin, that would mean I would just like accumulate more and more and more without actually putting more money into Bitcoin. I just take the interest and buy more with that. So if you think about it, Nexo is actually purchasing more Bitcoin for me. And I like that. So I had this entire conversation with a couple members from my website, bodybybattle.com. If you want to become a member, we talk every single day on Discord. Just click here or there's a link in the description below as well. You can join and then I'll see you in the Discord. So we talked about it and then one of my members, Uli, said, isn't it safer to have it on a cold storage? And I fully agree. If I had my Bitcoin on a ledger, at home, I would have I would be the one in control of those Bitcoin. But at the same time, I wouldn't get any interest. I wouldn't make any money unless Bitcoin increases in value. So it's up to you. You have to decide if you trust another company with your money where you put your Bitcoins and you receive interest on that or you say, mm, I don't want to do that. I want to reduce my risk and I want to have it on my cold storage on my ledger right next to me under my pillow. I'm not sure what type of person you are, if you want high risk, low risk. And we had this conversation and I said, I personally feel safe enough to have my money on an account on Nexo, but that doesn't mean that it's completely without any risk. I am well aware of the fact that Nexo could technically go bankrupt tomorrow and uh, all of my money is gone. Like I'm aware of that, but I did my research and I do not believe that this is going to happen anytime soon. Not even soon. I don't I don't believe that they will go bankrupt. <laughs> but I want to make sure that we talk about this because there is risk involved and it's not as easy as like, OK, here's, you know, my Bitcoin. Give me fourteen hundred dollars every month and there's absolutely no risk that it doesn't work like that. I did purchase a ledger in 2016 when I first bought Bitcoin and I had my Bitcoin on that ledger. But then I was like, I feel like I want to, you know, trade it. I want to move, move it around. So why do I have it on this ledger? I felt super secure and safe with it. But at the same time, the money wasn't doing anything for me because I was just hoping for Bitcoin to go up in value. But then I had to get it off my ledger into another wallet so I can trade it and then I can, you know, sell it and buy more or whatever I wanted to do and then bring it back to the ledger. Here's the thing. This is just what I personally do. You have to decide for yourself where you want to store your cryptocurrency, if it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it is, if you want to put it on a cold storage or not. For me personally, I love when my money creates more money for me without me actually doing something. Classic passive income. <laughs>
Before I end this video, I have a small update for the day trading challenge from $10,000 up to 1 million. I had a couple really successful trades the last week. Um, it wasn't like enough to create an entire video about it because I only had like four trades. So I made around like $1,000 just in that. So I moved from 19,000 up to 20,000. But that's basically the summary. Um, I think in the next video, maybe I'll combine all of the trades that I did and show you exactly what I did when I did it. So you can also see how I do my day trades. But that's it for today, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. it. Helps me out with the algorithm. You know how it works. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe.